All right, so we're gonna do a little grocery haul at Walmart. The reason I'm doing this is I wanna prove that you can do clean keto on a budget. I see a lot of videos where people go into Walmart and they show you how to do a grocery haul. The problem is they're usually grabbing lower quality ingredients. So this isn't any particular plug for products or anything like that. It's simply showing that you can go into a budget grocery store and you can still eat clean. You can still get the right keto products that are gonna help you along your keto journey, but in a good anti-inflammatory way. It's never good to kill your own gut bacteria by using a lot of antibacterial stuff, but when it comes down to grocery carts, sometimes I just take my chances. <laughs> All right, so this is not a super Walmart, so it doesn't have the most robust uh, food department. However, I feel like it's still, it's actually even better because then I can show you what you can do with sort of the bare bones. Now, this is totally honest. I'm just gonna go through, I don't have a plan. I don't have this laid out in front of me. I'm gonna do some shopping and you're gonna see bits and pieces of what I might actually grab when I'm at Walmart. All right, just gonna go aisle for aisle. Obviously, you're gonna see a lot of people grabbing hot dogs. You see a lot of people grabbing things like that. Not even really meat. We're usually talking 30% meat. So let's go ahead and let's just disregard the hot dogs there. I don't see any, even these beef franks, they say beef, but when you actually look at the ingredients, we're looking like, okay, it does have beef, but then sodium lactate, hydrolyzed soy protein. So that's one of the things you wanna look for, hydrolyzed soy protein. Sometimes they even have hydrolyzed whey in there. Um, that's just a filler. It's like if you go to fast food, it's usually gonna be 30, 40% soy. So just be very careful of that. That's not to say that you might not find something that'll work for you, but generally speaking, you're not going to. Um, all right. Then we've got some pickles. Actually, I am gonna get some pickles. And the reason that I'm a fan of pickles is of course the sodium content. Perfect, super low calorie snacks and keep your mineral profile high. These particular ones, yeah, we're actually looking pretty good. Uh, we have, I have, there's one thing that I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of sodium benzoate, but it's not bad. Um, get the pickles that are in the refrigerated section because they have less in the way of the preservatives and try to go for the kosher. They're a little bit cleaner salt. So. Yay, we're off to a good start, we got salt. Okay, let's see what we've got in the way of deli meat here. Um, you know what's cool is now the keto world is actually starting to get more of the little keto snacks. You know, you're gonna see. Give me your favorite cut. Okay. Gotcha. Hi. Hi, so much for that. Well, I can do it as, I can do the rest of selfie style, I guess. <laughs> so. And yeah, they're really cracking down on that. I can, literally, I can go selfie style the rest of the way. All right, so they asked us to turn off the camera. So it looks like I'm gonna do the rest of this somewhat selfie style. So here's the thing. I've got the turkey bacon here is cheap and you would think it's clean, but it's really not. The problem with the turkey bacon is it's got a bunch of sugar and it's got a bunch of other stuff. So you look at the price of bacon, you're still looking like five, six bucks. But when you go down to the high quality, like the natural stuff with no preservatives, it ends up being about the same price. Like you're looking five, six bucks. So right now, even though it's Hormel, probably not the highest quality stuff, at least this stuff is pork, water, salt, a little bit of turbinado sugar and seasoning. That's not bad. So for bacon, go with this route. Okay, don't go for the cheap stuff. You're only gonna save 20, 30 cents. All right, let's move on to the next aisle. Okay, then we get into the cheese aisle. It gets a little bit more complicated with cheese, uh, simply because most of the cheese that you're gonna find at a budget store aren't gonna be super high quality. Uh, I did a video talking about cheeses, which ones are the best. Um, Parmesan, you're usually pretty safe. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of Parmesan. Uh, let's go with some shaved Parmesan, simply because at least with Parmesan, it's aged for so long. It's all about, I don't wanna say it's the same, but it's aged for like 12 months. So you end up with the same sort of lactose content. Uh, of course, you wanna go organic, you wanna go raw whenever possible with a lot of these things. But Parmesan usually isn't even pasteurized. so. That's gonna be a cheese that you're pretty safe to get. I'm looking for just a couple bucks there, all right? All right, then of course they do have some almond milks and stuff. And the good news is a lot of the almond milk, a lot of those things are now uh, made without carrageenan, okay? So the cool thing is they even have macadamia nut milk. So we've got unsweetened macadamia milk. Uh, let's see, look at the ingredients here. Macadamia milk, macadamia oil, calcium phosphate, not the best. They fill it with a little bit of pea protein, sunflower lecithin, um, really not bad. There's no carrageenan. It's not a big deal to have sunflower lecithin, okay? So we're looking, it's like four bucks, so really not that bad. Um, compare that to even almond milk, you're still looking 348, 297. 
I mean, so you're looking a dollar more expensive, but you're gonna actually get stuff that doesn't have carrageenan. in. So sure, you're gonna pay a little bit more money, but it's not too bad. Another one that you can also get is going to be uh, the Khalifa Farms. Okay, so Khalifa Farms is nice. You always wanna get the unsweetened version. Okay, so we've got uh, unsweetened almond milk. Okay, this one's 348. Okay, really not too bad of a price. Let's see, ingredients. Almond milk, calcium carbonate, sunflower less than sea salt, potassium citrate. I'd be okay with this one. So I'm actually gonna get this one instead of the milkadamia because I don't know if all Walmarts are gonna have the macadamia nut milk and I'm familiar with this one. Okay, so we're still looking pretty good budget, although we haven't gotten to the bulk of what we need. All right, then we get into Greek yogurt. Okay, here's the thing with Greek yogurt is sometimes you're gonna end up getting ones that have a bunch of fillers in them and it's Walmart. So we're probably not looking a lot of super good quality ones, but when it comes down to Greek yogurt, you know, at least you've got Faya, it doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it. If they have Bulgarian yogurt anywhere, that's gonna be the best one. Some Walmarts do. So again, Faya zero. Um, I would usually go for Faya 2%. Don't go for the Faya whole. Uh, just a little bit too much in the way of milk fat, which can be a little hard to digest. So Faya inexpensive. This big thing is five bucks here in California. This should last me you know, a good few days of eating. Um, I might get two, but I think just today for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna get one. So we got Greek yogurt. Uh, I know a dairy product, but at the end of the day, it's not a huge, huge deal. And then why we're still here with the dairy, let's go ahead and look at some of this uh, cream cheese and stuff. Cream cheese selection, not super good, all right? Um, not the biggest fan of cream cheese, generally just because it's pretty low quality. But I still, if I'm gonna go for cream cheese, I'm gonna go for one that's a little bit leaner. I don't wanna get all my calories from a little bit of cheese. Like the Neufchatel cheese, the third less fat, it tastes about the same and I end up not having to deal with I don't know, blowing all of my calories on that. And I just feel like then I have a little bit more flexibility when it comes down to adding more fats. If I wanna add more nuts to a meal, if I wanna add some almond butter, I'm not just blowing it all just with, um, just with my cream cheese. All right, and then we get into sour cream. So I'm not opposed to sour cream as long as you're getting good quality stuff, right? Hard part is you're not gonna get super organic, good quality cottage cheese or sour cream, um, but if it's what you want, I'm not gonna pick some up today. Don't be too concerned. Here's the thing, all sour cream is is pretty much just cultured cream. You're not getting a whole lot of other stuff. Sometimes you'll get some other ingredients that are in there. The reality is it's pretty much the same stuff through and through. Uh, it all just comes down to the quality of milk. So you can do this. And then with cottage cheese, this is where it's difficult. So let's look at cottage cheese for a second. Here's what you're gonna find. Any kind of brand of cottage cheese, uh, let's see. Okay, we've got cultured non-fat milk, milk cream, 2% non-fat milk, whey, salt, maltodextrin. Oof, avoid that maltodextrin. Guar gum, not a fan of guar gum. This one doesn't have carrageenan, which is nice. Normally we'll see that. Let's look at Nudsen for a second. Cultured uh, non-fat milk, milk and cream, whey. Okay, uh, Xanthem gum. This one's actually not that bad. So actually maybe I will get that. I think I'm gonna get some of the Nudsen cottage cheese. Okay, so again, loading up with some dairy here, which is not my normal jam, but It'll work, all right? Then, of course, we've got butter. Big fan of butter. I don't think I'm gonna find ghee here. So we've got Kerrygold. Just need one of these for the week. This is gonna be solid. We're looking at $2.88 here for a stick of butter. I'm probably sitting about 25 bucks right now with everything that I've got. So I've got a lot of the good sources of fat that I already need. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look here at the eggs. All right, so when it comes down to eggs, Cage-free doesn't always mean that they're good, clean quality, okay? Cage-free could mean a lot of different things. Cage-free just means that they're put out in a open space, it's technically not a cage. So what can happen with that is you end up with just a bunch of garbage. You still end up with the same thing, bunch of grain-fed, bunch of corn-fed, soy-fed. So I don't see any pasture-raised eggs or anything like that. Um, so that means if I'm on a budget, eggs aren't gonna be a huge staple in my diet because I am gonna get some of the cage-free ones, organic, but I don't wanna get just anything and I don't wanna live on these. So I'm just gonna get one dozen of these. These are about 375, okay? So, so eggs are gonna be a smaller part of my diet when I'm on a budget, simply because it's harder for me to get quality, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and head into the next aisle. All right, this time I'm in the frozen aisle, frozen meat, okay? People think that frozen meat is all bad always fresh whenever possible. But here's what's really cool. Look at for six bucks, I can get Jenny O, which is not the best brand in the world, 
antibiotic-free turkey burgers. Okay, I've got six one-third pound burgers. So I've got a total of two pounds of meat here for basically six bucks, but it's already in patty form. Point in saying this is that the frozen stuff is not bad. It really isn't. Uh, this particular ingredient, uh, brand, turkey, salt, and rosemary extract. That's all we've got in it. So literally three ingredients, not bad for being out of the frozen section. So I'm gonna grab some of this. I don't like frozen beef because hardly ever do you find good grass-fed frozen beef. Uh, turkey, eh, you're still gonna get some of that soy, you're still gonna get some of that grain, not the best thing, but it at least shows you what you can get, okay? Let's go ahead and head on back down this frozen aisle. All right, what about fruit on a keto diet? Okay, I've done videos talking about the best fruits that you can have on a keto diet. Uh, best ones you can have are gonna be strawberries have like one or two. You don't need to have a lot of them. I'm not going to get them frozen because honestly, by the time you thaw them out, they just don't taste very good. But I was just going to say, if you are into that, $2 for a bag of frozen strawberries. Like, that's really not bad at all. And that's going to last you a couple of weeks on keto. All right, heading on deck down. All right, their veggie section here is really tight, really small. So not a whole lot I can even pick. But frozen veggies, again, get a bad rap. Here's the thing, a lot of times frozen veggies have more nutrients than the fresh, simply because you don't have the oxidation that occurs. They're flash frozen right after they're uh, picked. So if I pick broccoli, for instance, it's gonna be flash frozen right there on the spot. That ends up working out really, really well. You actually preserve a lot of nutrients. By the time it travels down the road and everything like that, it oxidizes and loses a lot of the nutrients. So let's go ahead and check this out really quick. Okay, they've got the whole steamable in bag thing. Again, we're on a budget here, right? It's not always the best case scenario. So in this case, I can get some steamable broccoli. I'm gonna grab a couple of those. You don't have to steam them in bag. I don't recommend that. Usually they're BPAs uh, free, BPA free. So you're not gonna have a bunch of the, the total garbage in there. But let me just go ahead and get three of those because veggies are gonna be critical for me. Um, also broccoli, super high diendole methane. So what that means is it's got an anti-estrogen component. Really, really good, especially if you're going to be consuming some of these products that are fed with soy. So if you're going to be consuming uh, meats that are soy-fed meats, okay, you're going to want to do what you can to fight the aromatization, fight the estrogen buildup. So that's why I'm a big fan of the broccoli there. So if we go with some of these other ones, we don't really get that. Obviously, we don't want to have the corn. We don't want to have peas, super sweet. We don't really want that on keto. Um, broccoli cuts Guess what? You guys still get most of the mineral profile and the vitamin profile, even out of the broccoli cuts. And we're looking at like 84 cents versus, whoops, huh, sorry about that. 84 cents versus $1.50, almost half the price. So I'm gonna get a couple of these just so that I can bulk up some of my meals. Maybe I'll do some stir fry, things like that. Just some simple uh, keto budget stuff. All right, um, liquor aisle, definitely don't need that. Let's go ahead and go down the next aisle. All right, I'm in the drink aisle now. I'll make a quick honorable mention. These are a little expensive for keto on a budget, five bucks a piece. Uh, in fact, I think they're literally cheaper at Whole Foods, but I like the uh, cold brew, bulletproof stuff. So if you're on the go, these aren't bad. Um, problem is a lot of erythritol, which I don't, don't dislike, but first thing in the morning, a bunch of erythritol might give you a little bit of a belly ache. But I thought that was kind of interesting that Walmart has this. My point in mentioning this is Walmart's making some big moves, okay? They're actually really trying to get a lot of keto stuff. They're trying to get uh, more healthy stuff in general, which is just nice to see. So that's an honorable mention, not gonna grab them here today. Diet sodas, all this stuff, honestly, just live without it. I don't think you need it. You can get some of those flavor uh, water enhancers, it might be a better bet, but eh, just disregard the diet sodas. You can get by without it, save the money, even though they're a couple bucks. All right, in the next aisle, where I've got a little bit of more of the drinks and the snacks and things like that, let's see, um, right now I'm looking, just so you can see, I'm looking at like those energy drinks and the, the flavored waters and flavored drinks. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see a little bit more. I actually did a video on these before. This is not a necessary expense, but the nice thing about them is it does get you to drink a little bit more water. Um, the issue, a lot of these will break a fast. So if you're fasting, be careful. Um, let's see, this has got, water, citric acid, sodium citrate, sucralose. Um, okay, not the greatest, but it's not bad. Um, yeah, you know what, to be completely honest, I'm gonna keep this on a budget. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go without that. I can always just squeeze some lemons in, I'll be good. All right, snack aisle. Pork rinds, really not that bad. Okay, here's the thing with pork rinds. What we have to be careful of is toxins are stored in the fat. So when pigs are eating a whole lot of soy and grain and stuff like that, it's going to come through in the fats a lot more. And pork skin, obviously, high fat, high skin. So you just gotta be careful. Um, I would recommend, well, the selection here is pretty slim. Fried pork skins, salt. I mean, at least there's no added dextrin or anything like that. If you look at like the barbecue flavor, 
Wow, this is where we get wild. Okay, pork skins, salt, sugar, spices, yeast, monosodium glutamate, tomato powder, maltodextrin, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. Okay, so if you're gonna be doing pork rinds on a budget, you're gonna wanna go for the original flavor because where things get messy is with the spices and things like that they're putting in it. So the maltodextrin alone and the MSG, the monosodium glutamate, creates a glutamate cycle within the brain. That glutamate GABA tilt is what we have to be careful of. Glutamate is going to make you crave things a lot more. So this is just pork skins and salt. Good old fashioned max. Okay, we're looking just a couple bucks. So $1.78. So those get the win. All right, time for the nut section here. This is where people can get a little bit mixed up. Okay, so I'm taking a look here and I see a lot of almonds. Lots and lots and lots of almonds. The hard part is almonds, they add up in carbs, right? So when you start actually counting it up, if you're gonna spend $3.50 on something that's gonna push your carb content over the max quite easily, you might be better off spending a little bit more money and going for something like the walnuts or going for something like the macadamia. Oh, actually, check this out. Okay, walnuts, $3.24. I know you can't really see this, but walnuts, $3.24 for 7.25 ounces versus almonds for six ounces, $3.44. So actually walnuts, super high omega-3, good quality nut. I'm gonna get these instead of the almonds. Why get the almonds if I don't need them? Honestly, the walnuts are gonna be great. So let's go ahead and go with that. Um, stay away from the mixed nuts, honestly. Too much of a wide variety of different omegas in there. Just again, trying to keep this simple for you. Okay, well, what do you need? So we can get the macadamia nuts, but the hard part with the macadamia nuts, they're starting expensive. We got four and a half ounces for $5.62, I just, I don't know. Just trying to look out for you guys here. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the walnuts. I'm probably not gonna go through a jug of walnuts in a week. I'm trying to do like a week grocery haul here. So let's just leave it at that. Um, actually, while we're right here, we've got some of the beef jerkies. Let's see, so we got all the beef jerkies here. I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick. All right, not the best quality here. Hmm, might just end up 86 in this all together. I don't need just these snacks. I'd rather go get some whole foods here. See, it's all like the Jack Link stuff. And, you know, they're making an effort, but so much just garbage in them. Let's see what's in this. Beef, water, sugar, beef stock, artificial colors, yeast, extract. Halt. Not that bad, actually, but I don't like the sugar in there. I just, it's not necessary. I'm going to skip out on that. Save myself eight bucks. Snacks, snacks, sugar. All kinds of stuff that's just not gonna fly on this aisle. Unfortunately, we can 86 this one. Hey, here's some non-refrigerated pickles. Remember what I talked about before? Okay, we got cucumbers, water, distilled vinegar, salt, sodium chloride, polysorbate, 80. All these added colors, big difference when they're not the refrigerated pickles, huh? Okay, we got some sugar-free sauces here. Sugar-free barbecue, sugar-free honey mustard. This looks cool. Let's see what's in it. Okay, we got water, brown mustard, salt, spices, turmeric, canola oil. Uh, kind of want to stay away from that. Um, sucralose yeah it's not necessary i don't need it i would say if you're looking to do keto and you're not worried about the artificial sweeteners you're not worried about the coconut uh, canola oil excuse me this really isn't bad that's not a bad price because you could make a couple meals with that and really just sweeten or season everything up and really not have much of an issue so um it's a good one let's keep it in the mix but i'm not going to get it today just to keep costs down um frank's red hot that's actually some good stuff when it comes down to just seasoning things let's see we got cayenne pepper distilled vinegar salt and garlic powder um two dollars and 68 cents i'm gonna get some of that it's a, not a bad actually you know what better yet i'm a tabasco fan dollar 56 get some tabasco totally keto friendly um tartar sauce usually is good to go but a lot of times we're gonna have soybean oil uh no let's keep that out of the equation we don't want that hey look it who would have thought tartar sauce is great with fish Okay, this is cool. Primal Kitchen. This is Mark Sisson's stuff. This is actually good stuff. Organic sugar-free steak sauce and no soy teriyaki. So sugar-free, what's he got in it? Hey, that's awesome. Okay, see, these are the things. I'm not gonna get that today, but this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. We've got Walmart making strides to put healthy stuff in their stores. That actually makes me really, really happy. I don't think I need to spend a lot of money on sauces today. I'm just gonna keep this simple. Well, here's a quick hack. Okay, remember how I grabbed these walnuts and they were three dollars and fifty cents or three dollars and twenty four cents for 7.25 ounces let's get them in bulk i'm gonna put these back let's get them in the cooking section and let's go ahead i can get some walnut halves and pieces i can get 16 ounces a pound of them 
for $7.34. So save a little bit of money that way. Actually, I think I will do that. So let's go and do that. I'll put the other walnuts back. Okay, so there's two things here that I want. Um, we've got coconut milk, which is good to see. Taste of Thai. I know this one has, okay, this one. We've got coconut water, guar gum. Still has uh, guar gum as a stabilizer, which isn't the end of the world. I see another one down here. What's this one? Let's see. Also coconut milk. This is thick coconut milk, so it can kind of use as uh, coconut cream. Let's see what this has got. Coconut milk, water, guar gum. Okay, so now it just comes down to a cost game. Um, coconut, canned coconut is not the cheapest thing. This is $1.98, but this I can add to a shake. I can add anything. One can should go a whole week. We've got 130 calories times five. If you do 100 calories of this per day, you're gonna be good for a week, right? Okay, then there's one other thing that I have to get here. This is kind of my, almost my uh, signature, right? I always get unsweetened baking chocolate. And what I do is I melt it down and I go ahead and I add stevia to it. And then I make a chocolate treat. But this stuff is pure 100% dark chocolate. Okay, totally unsweetened. So I recommend that you grab this stuff, get it in the baking section. Looking around here. Yeah, okay, this will be solid. So it's a couple bucks for that, $1.97. Again, you know, you end up uh, death by a thousand cuts in terms of the money here when you start getting these little things, but you know, whatever, it's worth it. And a lot of the stuff will trickle over into two weeks. All right, now we got the coconut oil. So organic coconut oil. I'm just gonna get a medium sized one. Okay, so look at 54.2 cents per ounce, 32, 27. Uh, I don't need a giant one. I'm gonna get this 32 cent per ounce one. This is a great one. It's just good quality stuff. And the nice thing is good to see Walmart actually getting good healthy things in there for people. So we've got just organic coconut oil, 32 cents, perfect. Do I need to ask you to leave, sir? Hmm. Pretty darn sure the law says you can use your phone, but it's a bummer because it's all really positive stuff. Well, we got asked to turn off the cameras once, so we switched to cell phone. We weren't doing anything wrong, we just switched to cell phone. And then we got asked to not film with our cell phone either. I politely explained to the woman that I was doing everything in a positive way, but they still won't have that. So they said that even filming with a cell phone was not allowed. Now, I'm not a legal expert, but I, uh, I can pretty sure that I'm allowed to film with my phone, especially selfie style. Anyhow, we ended up doing the rest of the shopping not being filmed at all. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back to the studio. I'm gonna show you the receipt. We got out of here for $104. My goal was 100 bucks, so I feel like we did pretty good. You can see, got a good amount of stuff, and I'm gonna lay it all out for you when I get back to the studio and show you what we got. You can tell I'm a little disappointed. Um, I don't know why I, I still went through with the purchase, which realistically probably shouldn't have supported it at that rate, but you know, honestly, I'm a solid Walmart patron, I guess. All right, let's go back to the studio. All right, pretty much 100 bucks, 104 bucks. Goal was to keep it under 100 bucks, but still pretty darn close. Probably could have done without the the green tea. All right, I'm gonna go through. So as you saw, I got kicked out, or at least asked to turn off the cameras, which I understand. So let me go ahead and break down some of the stuff that I got. Some of the stuff you saw already in the store, but then I went around and I grabbed a few other things when we had to turn the cameras off and figured I'd just recap here where it was easier. So I'm gonna start from this side and work my way over. All right, so we had the pork rinds. Remember I talked about those at the grocery store. So these are the clean ones. No spices, get the original. This way you just have pork skins and salt. That's all there is to it, right? So super simple there. Here's the cool thing. The Walmart that I was at was not a Walmart super center. It was not a Walmart market. It was a good old fashioned Walmart like you might find in the middle of nowhere, right? It's, it's a very simple Walmart, so very limited grocery section. So it didn't even have a fresh meat department. So I had to go with like frozen meat. So this was a really good example of how you can still do keto clean. They did not have organic chicken, but I understand you still need some meat, you still need to feed a family. So I got the all natural stuff a little bit better. Okay, supposed to be pasture raised, but I'm sure just given, given where I got it, it probably has some soy and some, some grains in it. So not a huge deal. Okay, we'll, do, we'll deal with it, even if it's just short term. The Kerrygold I talked about, grass-fed, grass-finished butter, okay? That's gonna make a big difference in terms of what you put in your coffee and what you cook with. So I recommend, you know, you can cook with this stuff a little bit, you can just add it as additional fats to your broccoli we're gonna talk about in a second, you got it. Okay, then we have the cream cheese. Remember, not the highest quality stuff, but go for the third less fat. Don't blow it all just with your, with your cream cheese, okay? Then we've got sardines, okay? Sardines are cool, got sardines in water. This is a big one. You want to get your sardines in water. Sardines have one of the most perfect omega-3 profiles and perfect fat to protein ratios on keto. These were like a dollar something. Let's see, they were, uh, 
yeah, they were like $1.27, okay? So really inexpensive. And one of these is a perfect meal. Like one of these is, oh, it doesn't say exactly how many calories, but I want to, I think they're like 200 calories for one of these. So anyway, perfect. You could live off of these. Get them in water. Don't get them in olive oil or harissa or anything like that. Just get it clean with water. You can add your fats if you need to. Okay. Almond butter. So I splurged on the almond butter. I got the more expensive almond butter. Okay, this was still like $6 almond butter. Why? Because almond butter is very, very important to get a high quality one. You don't want to be getting low quality almond butter. You're just going to end up with a lot of phytates. Uh, the Maranatha brand, I know that Walmart carries it. No sugar or salt added. Super good stuff. Be very careful with almond butters. You want to look and make sure there's no sugar added. So that was probably one of the most expensive gram for gram things that I got. Then I got Tabasco. Wanted to flavor some stuff up. Perfect to flavor my eggs. Got the baking chocolate. Remember, that's my thing, right? That's my, that's my go-to, that's my staple. I love unsweetened dark chocolate and I sweeten it up myself with stevia. Okay, so I'll melt it down and I'll add stevia. Walmart, you're gonna have a hard time finding liquid stevia. So I did have to get stevia in the raw, which does have some dextrose in it. So you just wanna be careful. You don't wanna have more than a few packets of this because it could knock you out of keto. So just a couple packets, you know, you can do that. And again, sweeten your coffee, whatever you need to do, all right? You remember when we were in the store, I got my carrageenan free almond milk. So this one I got uh, straight up almond milk. I did have some other options, but make sure you don't get the sweetened one. Then I grabbed some decaf green tea. I'm a huge fan of green tea and I'm a huge fan of going decaf green tea because you still get the EGCG and you still get the polyphenols. You still get a lot of the positive effect, but you don't get the caffeine later on in the day. So it's perfect for the afternoon where you still want those catechins, but you don't want the caffeine. Then why did I get no salt added tomato sauce? Well, simply because when we're bare bones cooking and we're cooking up meat, we're cooking up uh, turkey burgers, anything like that, you could make some kind of bolognese, you could make some kind of pasta dish along with this and where'd it go? Oh, the Parmesan cheese. So remember why I got Parmesan cheese? Because it's a lower lactose content, aged usually for at least 12 years, higher quality cheese than a lot of stuff you'd normally find at just a bargain grocery store. So melt some of this down in the tomato sauce. You've got a sauce that can go on anything without having to even go spend a bunch of money on various seasonings. It's pretty awesome. It makes it simple. You guys remember my little snack, the pickles from the refrigerated section, very important. Then you do what you can with the eggs, okay? You do what you can. These are cage-free. They're I'm sure they're not pasture-raised eggs. I'm sure they're not super, super high quality. But considering it's Walmart, I'm happy to see that they had organic cage-free. At least the soy the uh, chickens were potentially fed was at least organic soy. Then we have the coconut oil. Uh, I went for the unrefined. Honestly, I like the full rich flavor. It doesn't really matter. Just try to go for an organic one if you can. Uh, this was like, let's see, how much was this? Uh, I think it was like six or seven bucks for this big thing. Yeah, it was like six something. And this is gonna last me a long time. This is gonna last me a month. So even though this is a weekly haul, this, some of this stuff's gonna last me a lot longer. Then I got the Greek yogurt. Okay, this is a perfect thing to eat like for lunch, keeping their fats a little bit lower, just have a little bit of protein coming in. Greek yogurt, at least you get the probiotic effect. Not the highest quality protein in the world like you would get from like a high quality meat or something, but at least you get your protein in. Then of course we have the coconut milk. Okay, this is thick coconut milk. The whole trick that you want to do is when you grab a coconut milk from the grocery store shelf, you want to be able to shake it and really ideally not hear it at room temperature. You don't want to hear it when you shake it because that means it's more saturated. That's what you want. Because uh, otherwise you have to put it in the fridge and get it to saturate a bit more. This is perfect to uh, scoop into your coffee. So you notice I didn't buy any coffee creamer. I'm on a budget here. I didn't want to spend $5 on coffee creamer. Uh, and I'm not using half and half because half and half is usually very low quality. So take a scoop of this and put it in your coffee with a little bit of stevia and you're done. I mean, you've got budget clean keto right there. Okay, then we talk about the cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is risky, okay, because cottage cheese is high in casein proteins. So if you're getting low quality dairy, the protein and the casein in the cottage cheese is going to have a potentially larger negative effect than um, like another form of dairy because it is pretty much pure casein, which again, isn't always bad. So this is what was available at Walmart. Now, I recommend if you're going for a cottage cheese, there's a brand called Good Culture out there and you know, I'm good friends with them. They're awesome. That's a better cottage cheese. Of course, you can't get cottage cheese online, but if you have Good Culture at your grocery store, might be a good one. Okay, then I have tuna. Now, some of you are probably thinking, Thomas, you've lost your mind. You're the healthy guy and you're talking about tuna, super high in mercury, right? Not something you want to eat all the time, but the nice thing about chunk light tuna, chunk light tuna is actually lower in mercury than you think. It's the albacore that we really have to worry about. So the chunk light is the way to go, even though the albacore tastes better and is more expensive and leads you to believe that it's higher quality. Chunk light is, believe it or not, higher quality. It's just more common, so it's cheaper. So these were like 60 cents. Now, again, 
not something I necessarily want to live on, but at least it is wild caught. That helps a lot. Okay, then we got a tons of, ton of my broccoli, right? Now I talked about kind of getting the broccoli cuts and you still get a lot of the dim. The florets, I get some of them so that I have some of the florets, but then for the bulk of my fiber and just my roughage and my dindol, methane and uh, indole 3 carbonyl effect that I want for the anti-estrogen, I can just go with the cuts. I still get the fiber, I still get the greens on a budget. They didn't even have a produce section there. They had potatoes and onions, okay? So this is what I'm working with with no produce department. Then uh, I've got my walnuts. When I'm limited with the kind of nuts that I can get, the macadamia nuts there would have blown my budget. Five bucks for a small container, 12 bucks for a moderate size one, whereas this was like seven bucks for walnuts that are gonna last me a few weeks. Plus, the nice thing about this budget keto shopping is it forces you to not lean on these, like lean on nuts for your calories. We, just, we don't wanna do that. You don't want a bunch of nuts in your diet. It's a little hard on the digestive system, high phytates, we just gotta be careful with that. Okay, then we have the bacon. I was really surprised that they actually had a no preservative, really good healthy bacon. That's a shock. This is really pretty good stuff. We have pork, water, salt. It does have some turbinado sugar, um, and, but then the, even the seasoning is just celery juice powder and sea salt. So no carbs showing up in two slices. It's that negligible amount of turbinado sugar. Not the greatest thing, but bacon, I mean, at least you're gonna get your fats in. You could wrap the chicken in bacon, throw it in the oven, okay? You could dust the chicken in some pork rinds, then wrap it in bacon. You've got nice, decent dishes here. Then, normally I'd be a fan of Redmond Real Salt, which a lot of stores have now, but the next best thing is gonna be pink Himalayan salt. So, at least got that, that was like $1.97, and this is gonna last me a month, if not more. Then, lastly, I got these turkey burgers. Now, one thing I probably would have done different is I probably would have 86 something. I probably would have maybe gotten rid of the bacon and maybe gotten two of these if I was feeding uh, a larger family. I was really surprised, and I said this in the store, but we had um, turkey, salt, and rosemary extract. That's it, no preservatives, and it's in the frozen section. So these aren't fully cooked, you do have to actually cook them. But again, like you've got decent quality there, so rock and roll with that. So again, I would have just probably gotten two of those, and I would have had a nice balance here. It maybe wouldn't have been the perfect healthy keto meal, but at least I have the goods to at least get by in a clean fashion. So we're, I think we're rocking and rolling here, still for roughly 100 bucks. So you can do it at Walmart, you can do it on a budget. And I apologize if I offended anybody at Walmart, but I promise it was all in good taste and actually spreading a positive word that you can shop healthy, even on a budget. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, Tippy here with Tippy Tales. I am currently sitting in the Costco parking lot right now, about to go shopping. If you are interested in seeing what I normally pick up on the keto diet, keep on watching. Favorite store, by the way. Obviously we have a camera and we're talking to the camera and people are looking at us. I don't usually vlog in this type of public setting, but first time for everything. Getting some stairs, usual, but I gotta get comfortable with it, right guys? First stop, avocados. Avocados, so good and so nutritious and delicious, great in fat. How I pick my avocado is I like to go for something a little bit more green rather than purple. You see the purple here? That means it's ripe, it's ready to eat. I let it sit out for a couple days because I always have avocados on hand, so I always go with green. Fresh produce, about to go into the cold room, guys. We have squash, you have yellow, and you have your zucchini, great for grilling. Brussels sprouts, I love baking with this, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. Okay, organic spring mix. This is great for salads. I like to always have it on hand just to give myself some variety. It is cold in here. I'm trying to go as fast as possible. So if I am talking super fast, that's because I am cold. Organic mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I love grilling mushrooms. I'm gonna say grill a lot because it's summertime and I love to grill. So you're gonna hear me say grill, grill, grill. Bigger than my head. Rice cauliflower, this is awesome. I'm Asian, I love rice, I love noodles. This is a great substitute. People like to buy cauliflower and they put it in the food processor. This is ready to go for you, it's $3.99. Cut out one less step that you need to do. All right, zucchini noodles. I love rice, I love noodles. 
This is a great substitute for it. A little bit of sesame oil, um, a liquid amino, salt and pepper, and a meat of your choice and a variety of vegetables. Boom. Buy it as noodled, I should say. Is that even a word? Noodled? Buy it noodled? Okay. I just made a word up. Cucumbers. I love cucumbers, especially these cucumbers. They're so crunchy. English cucumbers are my favorite cucumbers. You could dip it with a certain mayo, aioli, a ranch, however you want to do it. I like to dip this. I like to snack on it. It's great also with guacamole as well. So cucumbers. Ryan is walking backwards and filming right now and he's doing amazing. All right, so we're in the meats. Ground beef, full fat. You get three slabs of this here for $19.99. I love to make egg roll in a bowl. Maybe I'll show you the recipe for that with this. Again, being Asian, I like to eat a lot of Asian food and I've been incorporating that into my keto diet. Maybe I'll show you my egg roll in a bowl recipe. Let me know, comment below if you want to see that. Hello. Can I get my video or what? Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, right there. He has to be in the video, guys, so we're gonna have to give him a shout out. So you have your pork selection here. I love pork belly, guys. I have an awesome recipe that I do. It is an Asian recipe. I love to grill it. I love to eat this with kimchi. If you're a kimchi fan, you know what's up with the pork belly. Okay, shout out to the camera guy, my husband. He makes amazing, amazing ribs, guys. And they do have really great ribs here. You could do it the fresh one or you could do the package one. It feeds four to five people and they're great for meal prep. So ribs. All right. I love Costco. I love Costco. Okay. So here you have the rotisserie chicken. It is $4.99 for a whole chicken. If you do not want to cook, this is a big hack. Pick yourself up a chicken. Okay, they're sampling. It's Saturday. Good morning. This is what I'm doing for you guys today. You're sampling these delicious, ever good hot link sausages. Yes. <laughs> be careful because it will be a little spicy too. I love but spicy. Me too. That brings in the flavor. Oh, yeah. yeah. And these are actually my favorite, and we get this every single time we're here. Are oh, you serious? Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, look at that. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> It's, enjoying it too much there. <laughs> it's so good. When you do a happy dance afterwards, that's how you know it's good, guys. Exactly. Do yourself a favor and pick yourself up these hot links. Super good for breakfast and also grilling. Should we get seconds? No. <laughs> Costco makes it easy for you. If you do not want to season your ribs, you have the St. Louis style dry rub seasoning. You could feed easily four to five people. Great for meal prepping, guys. So. Make your life easy. Again, I personally don't consume a whole lot of dairy. I really try to minimize it because my eczema will flare up and I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with that. So I keep it to a minimal and every now and then I have cheese, I dibble dabble with it. But again, I'm not the biggest cheese um, person because of that, not because I don't like it, but because I just get a reaction. This is a good buy here. This is something a lot of people love to buy. This is the variety pack, party pack. Again, easy to snack. If you are a snacker, grab a couple pieces of this, salami, nuts, and make it a party, guys. My husband and I really love Kerrygold. It is grass-fed. You get three packs in this um, bad boy here. All right, guys, we are in the chicken aisle. They definitely have a great selection of chicken. I like to pick up chicken wings and chicken thighs. It has more fat, more flavor. I enjoy it better. I'm not a chicken breast girl. Done that, been there not doing it anymore. My favorite part of Costco right here, guys. Favorite part is going to be the USDA prime beef. Now, I have to say, it is a little bit pricier. Ryan and I really try to buy great quality meats. So that's something we don't skimp on. That's just us. Of course, you do you with what's within your budget and make it work for you and your family, but this is what I like to do. My favorite cut is going to be ribeye. I am a ribeye girl all the way. I love, love a juicy ribeye, especially during summer right now. A grilled juicy ribeye, cannot beat that. Now, Seafood City, woo! Okay, staple in keto, guys. Do yourself a favor and pick up salmon. Get your omega-3s from there. We get a lot of omega-6s from a lot of vegetable oils. You're eating out, you're going to restaurants, you're gonna get omega-6s but load up on those omega-3s. This is wild, wild salmon. When they have wild salmon, pick it up, guys. It is a different pigment. You take a look at this here. 
Oh my gosh, this has got that blood orange color. I love a good wild salmon. Raw pumpkin seeds. If you are a salad girl, I definitely would recommend picking this up, sprinkle it on your salad. Also, it's great for snacking as well. Macadamia nuts, get yourself a pack. It is a little pricey, $18.99, but that's pretty much the most affordable you're gonna find for a size this big, okay? Macadamia nuts, great in fats. Also buttery, tasty, love it. I love pistachios. I probably don't eat it as much as I love it, but I love pistachios. Don't do this to yourself. Don't, don't crack pistachio, guys. Why buy this when you can buy this? Don't do that, okay? Save yourself the time, unless you just like to crack things. Take a look at this whole entire aisle. You have all the nuts that you could choose from, guys. If there's anything that you go nuts for here, are nuts. All right, holy guacamole, $13.99, and you get 20 of these, guys. Super buy, I would say. And they come in these little cartridges here. They're very easy on the go. Also, the one thing about this, what I like the most, is that you could store it, and it lasts longer than actual real avocados. So if you're working, you're on the go, you're a mom, you are like, you got a crazy busy life, this is a great buy. So dry salami. Dry salami is one of my favorite things to snack on, especially with a side of macadamia nuts. You're a whipping cream. You're half and half here. We are on the hunt for one of my favorite things to drink, LaCroix. Found it, found it. They have lemons, they have limes, and they have grapefruit. My favorite, favorite of all time is going to be the grapefruit. But this is definitely a good variety to a buy if you have never had LaCroix and you want to try three different flavors, I definitely highly suggest this. I know that it could be hard not drinking when you are doing a keto reset. Opt for this. It, it honestly tastes like you're drinking soda or you're drinking something other than water. So it definitely breaks up that routine. I highly suggest that you pick this up. I may pick that up today. We'll, we'll show you what we get today. We are not getting everything I'm showing you because we don't need everything. Okay. Organic eggs, guys. 24 count for $7.79. You can't beat that. A lot of people like sour cream in their taco salad. Again, I don't eat a whole lot of dairy, but if I do, I definitely go for sour cream. This is a massive tub of cream cheese. What is this, three pounds? Oh, it's three pounds. Just kidding, I actually cheated. I saw the three, and I guessed three. A lot of keto recipes require you to have cream cheese in it. Um, fathead recipes definitely do, so pick yourself up a three pound tub. I think three pounds may be bigger than my head. You think my head weighs three pounds, babe? Less. <laughs> All right, mozzarella cheese. A lot of recipes on YouTube, on Pinterest, that require you to have mozzarella cheese to make the dough, to make the bread. It's a good substitute, a good binder. Fake it. <laughs> I love Costco bacon. Thick sliced Costco bacon. It tastes phenomenal. On top of that, you are not paying a buttload for it. It is 12 bucks. You get, you get, you get a whole lot for 12 bucks, guys. This is a great buy. Put it in your basket. My husband loves this peanut butter. It's smooth, it's creamy, and it's really affordable for what it is. All natural, just peanut and sea salt. All right, guys, almond butter. My favorite butter of them all is almond butter, and it is so affordable here, $7.39. Pick yourself up some good almond butter. Almond flour. You're going to see that a lot of recipes call for almond flour when you are baking. Absolute must-have in your pantry, guys. You're gonna see it everywhere. You're gonna see it in recipes. So pick yourself up some coconut oil, leave it in your pantry just in case you need it, because I'm gonna bet that you probably do. Again, you want to have good fats, and a lot of the good fats are going to be what you cook with. So olive oil, extra virgin, so it's going to be the very first pressing of olive oil. Have it. You will need it for cooking. Ah! Okay, this is my favorite, guys. I love cooking with avocado oil. This is something I have to have in my pantry. It has to be there, it has to be also right next to my stove. I love avocado oil. It has a high um, heat tolerance, so nothing like olive oil. Olive oil gets a little bit smoky when you when the heat gets a little bit too high. This is great for frying. This is great for cooking. I have to have avocado oil in my pantry. Must have.
smash your eggs. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, nah. I, got it. I got it on tape. <laughs> All right, guys, we did not pick up everything we showed you. That would have been crazy. We don't need everything, but here is what we picked up. We picked up some prime beef here, coconut oil, hot link sausages. Have to have that, guys. Organic eggs here, some rice cauliflower, bacon, avocados, avocado oil, peanut butter, macadamia nuts, and pistachio and a few laundry detergent and garbage bag.